Hello, YouTube. You all right? I can I can I just post one video, one video, just one video since I'm feeling like it for once. Okay, is is that okay? Okay, okay. Sup, like Sid Craig in here. I know it's been a little bit. It's been a couple of weeks, probably at most. I have no idea how long I've been away from YouTube, but uh, it's been a little bit of an interesting experience for sure because uh, I've just been taking a break. I've been definitely doing a lot of things. I've been uh, trying to get a lot of things situated when it comes to just with streaming and doing a little bit of videos here and there. Now, I just want to put this out there. I'm just going to properly put this out there. Um, this is going to be the one and last time only that I'm going to do this. I don't want to really bring this up again because I know I have a bad habit of doing that and I don't want to do it again. But when it comes to gaming videos on my channel right now, I'm going to be not really doing that anymore. I will be talking about gaming related stuff, which I've always wanted to do and I've always loved it since I've started this channel. And I will continue to do that until the day that I decide to shut this channel down, which I highly doubt will be anytime soon. But that's what I'm just thinking of doing right now, which is I feel is something that I, I feel really happy about because I have done and played games a lot and i understand that when it comes to this yeah it's all cool but for right now especially whatever's going on with youtube i don't know and i just don't want to really get into that that's not the whole point of this video but regardless what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be doing a lot more stuff that is kind of like maybe behind the scenes maybe some like cool skit stuff that i usually do that i've always been doing or maybe some stuff that i talk about when it comes to gaming that sort of thing i will be doing that on this channel so if you definitely do like that then Hey, stick around. I felt like making a video today because, because I wanted to talk about the Nintendo Switch. I freaking love this Nintendo Switch. And I know it looks very dusty. I know it has fingerprints all over it. I know clean, clean your freaking Switch, Sid. I understand, okay? I understand. You don't have to tell me twice, okay? Yes, yeah, so when it comes to this Nintendo Switch, I recently just got it and uh, I did an unboxing video. I know the audio sounded horrible, which I did fix the issue on that, by the way. I fixed it because, you know, OBS decided, hey, I'm gonna crackle all your audio because, of course, I know you're trying to do an unboxing video and it's like, freaking love you, but I also hate you sometimes, OBS. Why do you do this to me? Why? Why? But yes, um, I wanted to talk a little bit more about the Nintendo Switch. Now, I have been seeing all different types of videos, specifically of like certain games like Rocket League and Skyrim and stuff like that that have been coming out on the Switch. And I do have to say, like, it's freaking awesome. I'm so... I'm very, very happy that I was able to at least grab and cop one of the, you know, I said cop, okay? I'm using the street lingo. I got to cop one of these, like I'm trying to cop them shoes real quick. I had to cop, 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 cop. I didn't say anything else. <laughs> it sounded very wrong. I copped a Nintendo Switch, uh, the Mario Odyssey bundle, which I did do an unboxing video. If you definitely want to do check that out, I will have a card somewhere up here, just, you know, just doing my own little thing when it comes to unboxing but yeah um a couple of weeks or even better like yeah a good couple of weeks almost a month now of owning a switch i do have to say it definitely is totally worth it and i got it at probably one of the best times ever because i already know by the time it's black friday or it's even christmas these are gone these are auto this is automatically gone whatever nintendo switch you're trying to get is gone if not that then most likely if you're trying to buy it from like, let's say, I don't know, Target or like any of the big retail um, uh, places like, you know, like I said, Target, Walmart, et cetera, et cetera, like those places, they're most likely going to be sold out for Christmas because every kid and almost everyone that wants one of these will most likely buy them on Black Friday. Thankfully, you know, Nintendo mentioned that, oh yeah, you know, we're going to be, you know, we understand that there is a shortage of these Nintendo Switches. So what we're going to try to do is we're going to start making a lot of them like, 30 million in production, which is insane. Kudos to you, Nintendo. You're doing God's work right now because I'm pretty sure some grandma or some parent out there that's trying to get this for their child is going to get trampled or beat up because they are trying to go out of their way to have like a freaking battle royale over which switch they can get next. And it's, I, I know as crazy as that is, Black Friday is another different topic which i'll get on later later on in the video but that's not the whole idea of what we're doing that right now i just i don't know it's it's crazy and i definitely wanted to talk a little bit more about some of the games i definitely want to see that will be on the nintendo switch now i'm not really 100 percent sure like obviously i understand not all these games i'm going to be mentioned may come to the switch because uh you know i've i recently i think it was 
um game Informer put out a tweet and I, I tweeted at them and i was like and they were like hey what kind of games would you like to see on the switch for me i already mentioned about how like overwatch and state of the k uh the, the latest street fighter i don't know if that's ultra street fighter 5 or super street fighter i don't even know what it is anymore um diablo 3 i think that'll be really cool and i understand that when it comes to certain things yes i know other companies do own certain games but it is something to think of i mean if you're able to get doom on the nintendo switch even though it's not like top notch whatever that is not the whole idea the fact is that you're able to play doom which is a game that came out most likely i think it was like in 20 what when did you come out uh oh uh oh i'm having a little bit of problems here oh no this this should not be happening i have to literally search up when doom came out the latest doom okay so doom came out last year which is amazing i think that's freaking awesome that when it comes to uh panic button which is the people who ported doom over to the switch it kind of shows you that the switch is next level and i understand that obviously you know with graphics and stuff in hand that is fine but again you're cramming everything that doom has to offer onto this and that's freaking cool like i love that i love the fact that you're able to properly get a game that is like super phenomenal and triple a onto a you know a little tablet like this i think overwatch uh, come on overwatch can run on a potato so you're you're telling me that overwatch is most likely not even gonna run on the the switch if anything and i understand there is concerns i i totally get that but just to think about it i understand yes overwatch is a competitive game but if i could play overwatch on the go if I'm traveling somewhere and I'm just trying to merc some kids as Junkrat or Roadhog, and even though I suck at it, I'm having fun with the game, that's all that matters. If I'm able to play the game and I'm able to have fun with it and I'm able to enjoy Overwatch as a mobile sort of game, as well too as I guess, you know, when I dock it and then I play it for myself on, you know, I guess console style, then that's cool. I think that's a win, if anything, in Blizzard's book. So I'm surprised that, you know, Blizzard hasn't really mentioned anything yet. If anything, I already know for a fact if Blizzard would kind of, I, I guess to say, if they would want to put their hand into the Nintendo Switch Bowl and be like, okay, we'll give it a shot. It's a little bit of a wild card, but we'll give it a shot. Diablo 3 is already going to be there, hands down. I already know it. It's just Diablo 3. It's a hack and slash dungeon crawler game, which I honestly, I love the game and I, I haven't played more than enough of it, but I have played it for on and off for quite some time. And I think it would be awesome to see on the Switch. Now, Overwatch has its things, I understand, but it can work. I feel like it can work with this game. If you've seen how Overwatch looks on low, I'm pretty sure it can work on the Switch, hands down. Now, I know a lot of people, uh, especially since Rockstar put LA Noir, which is kind of like, it's a game that's like six or seven years old now, I think. It's been like, came out like 2010. I might be a little bit wrong on that. If you, if I am wrong, just let me know. Because I'm I know I know for a fact I know for a fact that my date, my dates and years and stuff may be wrong. I, I, it's bad enough I don't even pay attention to them even now. Like, I don't. I really don't. Ever since high school, I just like, okay, what day is it? Uh, what month is it? Hello? That sort of thing. So it, it, it's fine. It's fine, if anything. So yeah, that's definitely one of them. Um, I think another thing as well, too, that'd be really cool. I said was State of Decay. Now, I understand. Uh, I mentioned this before as well too early on in the video that it is owned by Microsoft. Now, I'm not sure how long that is. I don't know if I don't understand when it comes to that whole deal of it. I think it might be just an exclusive sort of thing. It would be cool to see that game because the way that uh, State of the K is, it's like State of the K is one of those games that it's like The Walking Dead, exactly like if what you would want for The Walking Dead and anyone's able to die. And it's it's super, super cool. So I think that'll be nice. Any sort of fighting games in general, like Injustice, uh, Tekken, um the the latest i think it's street fighter game street fighter 5 it's like ultra street fighter 5 or something that would be super cool because you could take the uh the the features of removing the little joy con grips thing here and playing with your friends and trying to beat them to death over uh, uh you know a nice little street fighter game or something like that it's totally worth it i think it's freaking awesome and it'll be really worth it so the switch so far is phenomenal and I'm, I'm trying to figure out maybe some other games that are like really, really good games that could be perfect for the Switch as it being a new kind of like console and mobile platform in, in one, which is really insane, honestly. Um, but 
I don't know. I have for for me, especially with a lot of games that I see, I I know like recently they added Rocket League. Rocket League. I already know for a fact I'm probably going to get on the Switch and my phone is going off. I'm sorry about that. I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions for games that you would love to see on the Switch, leave them in the comment section down below for sure. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Again, for any sort of videos that will be coming out, they may be kind of like this where not like exactly me sitting here all the time talking, but um, they may be like this where I, I kind of like to just talk about different sort of gaming stuff that's going on. I really love to do that compared to playing games. I usually, if anything, I play a lot more games on um, Twitch than I really do on YouTube now, which is totally understandable and totally fine. I'm totally fine with talking about video games nowadays than I am playing them on YouTube. That's just YouTube. For, for Twitch, it's a different story. I like to do that because I can be more chill, I can relax, I can do whatever it is I want to do on there. But again, uh, yes, thank you guys so much for supporting and just being absolutely awesome. I don't know if the video is flickering or not. I can see it come from my OBS, which is fine. I'll fix that later. Don't worry about that. It's, this is this is this whole camera setup is a work in progress. But still, thank you guys so much for the love and support. You guys have been absolutely phenomenal. I know it's been a little bit, but yes. Until then, stay awesome, stay creative. Like this is Sick Kraken. Check you guys out in the next video. Peace.